Hello everyone and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Uh, in previous session, we have covered how to write a Verilog code for 4 is to 1 mux in data flow modeling style using ternary operator. Uh, now we'll be moving ahead how to write a test bench and see the simulation waveform. So moving ahead, I am Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of Electrical ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Arandi Pune. So in previous session we have seen what are the different modeling style and how to go ahead with that modeling style. If you are knowing circuit diagram, you should be going ahead with the gate level. If you know the logical equation, then you can go ahead with the data flow. And if you know the truth table or behavior, then you can go ahead with the behavioral modeling style. And that way we have seen what is mean by MUX, how uh, to write a code in Verilog for uh, 4 is to 1 mux using ternary operator. What is ternary or conditional operator? That also we have seen. So for that, you can see the previous uh, video. I will put the link of previous video in the description box. So moving ahead with the test bench. Not what is meant by test bench? So test bench is a code written for generating stimulus or soft input or vector which will be providing to your design that is whatever code we have written that is the functionality we have written we need to verify whether it is working in this way or not and that's reason we need to generate some input that is 0 0 we need to write a and depending upon the value given we will be getting y properly or not that we will be checking so here that many inputs you are having that many inputs you need to generate in the test bench so a b c d and select of 0 and select of 1 these are the inputs and depending upon that it will be generating y so test bench now in test bench you need to start module and you need to end with end module so over here you are able to see end module now whenever you are using isc tool there partial test bench is coming as it is you need to just add this particular uh, inputs over there but whenever you are going ahead with the vivado you need to write it from scratch from module to end module everything you need to write so over here so this is model and this is end model now you need to give the name to this test bench so tb underscore mux underscore 4 is to 1 is given i have given purposefully in this way that if you are starting with tb you will be understanding this is the test bench and this is the test bench written for which particular uut that is unit under test that is the that is the name given to this Verilog code. So same I have written. It is not mandatory. But if you are writing in this way, it will be easy for you to understand. Now you need to define input and you need to define outputs. Now whatever input you have defined in design, which is as a wire, you need to define it as a reg, that is a register data type over here in the test bench. So A, B, C, D, by default, they are wire but you need to define that as a range that is the data type which is having ability to hold the data so it is somewhat a memory kind of thing it is having it will be able it is having the ability to hold that data so again select our select of 0 and select of 1 you need to define as a range now why is your output and whatever outputs are there you need to define it as a wire in the test bench so wire y so this you need to rem remember range data type for inputs whatever there are in the Verilog code and outputs are there will be defined by the wire data type. Now what you need to do that there is a test bench and that will be generating an input which will be given to the design. So if I am saying there is one block which will be of test bench and another block that is of UUT that is unit under test or Verilog code you have written. Now this inputs generated by test bench will be given to the design that is unit under test and you need to link it so a generated by test bench will be assigned to your uut and that linking is happening over here so mux underscore four underscore one uut this is very much important that is very very important that you need to write the name properly whatever the name you have written for the verilog code otherwise it will not be linking with the code it will be linked to the other Verilog code which is not present and that's why question mark will be coming. This particular point whatever I explained now will be explaining in the next session where I will be executing this code using Vivado tool. Now over here I will be assigning this name whatever the Verilog code I have written UUT that is unit under test 
bracket start bracket end semicolon and inside that you will be linking test bench in a input of output that is generated by test bench which is acting as an input to the uut as a a and it is getting connected to a of your uut so over here this indicates dot a that is instance which is connected to a of your verilog code that is uut again comma b pin is connected to the b of your uh, verilog code input c is connected to the input c of the verilog code that is uut and d with d same way select with select and y with y so this is mandatory to write for port mapping or connecting inputs generated by the test bench with the uh, uut bracket complete semicolon that is the end of your this statement now you need to generate a input that is i need to generate a b c d as well as select select of 0 and select of 1 so select is of 2 bit uh, value and that's why it will be defined by 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that four options will be there you need to write everything in initial and you need to start that initial loop by writing begin if you are writing begin definitely you need to end with the end so over here if you are written initial so end will be there this is getting repeated 47th line this is 47th line so don't get confused you have to write it once only so initial begin inside that you need to write a sequential statement because initial is the statement inside which you will be writing only sequential statement meaning of that it will be executing one by one now normally in the test bench you are writing initial but in the code in behavioral modeling style you are writing keyword always at now what is the difference between initial and always at that initial execute once and always at executes and executes continuously once the loop is over again it will be executing from the starting that way it will be executing continuously at this moment that particular point will not be clear but in the coming lecture i'll be definitely telling you what is the initial and uh, always what is the difference between initial and always add now once you have written you need to write sequential statement now i need to generate a stimulus that is the test vectors so i need to generate a b c d as well as the select and i need to give some time that is for which i'll be observing my output otherwise if i am not giving any delay over there i'll not be getting any output because it will be executing very fastly and that's why delay will be provided by hash and count so semicolon h line will be ended by the semicolon so a is 1 b is 0 c is 0 d is 0 you can give any value but purposefully i have given a as a 1 so that at the output i'll be getting 1 and rest will be 0 so i'll not be getting it so select is 0 0 my a is getting selected so i'll be getting 1 in the next option i have to give select as a 0 1 so my b is getting selected so purposefully i have given b equal to 1 and rest are 0 wait for particular time again in third option i have given select as a 1 0 so c is getting selected so i have given c as a 1 it is not mandatory to give 0 or 1 over there you can give any value but to um, distrib uh, distinguish between what you are getting a or b or c or d so you are writing that one over there now last option that 1 1 so d is getting selected so i have written in front of d that is 1 and wait for particular time end that is begin is getting ended and this is what is a model and end model so this is what is the test bench written for 4 is to 1 mux code previously explained and using this particular test bench you will be seeing in the waveform or in the simulation whether functionality is achieved or not so once that has been written you will be getting simulation waveform like this in the coming lecture i'll be explaining using tool how to write uh, that uh, vhd very log code uh, for 4 is to 1 how to generate the gate level net list how to write a test bench as well as simulation waveform uh, you will be checking so over here you are able to see a b c d these are the input again select 1 of 0 1 is to 0 again an input and that way output what you are getting so here if my select line is 0 0 i'll be getting a so here a is one rest of the inputs are zero and that's why one you are getting over here so this is one now when select line is zero one you are getting b at the output so b is one rest of the inputs are zero and that's why you are getting one means b is getting uh, connected to the y for third option if select line is one zero c is getting selected that is when c is one 
you are getting it at the output rest of the inputs are zero that's why you will be getting differentiating what output you are getting whether it is a b or c and lastly when input select line is 1 1 you are getting d at the output line now what i told you earlier that initial executes only once that's why you are able to see i have written only option for 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and then i have stopped that particular um, code and that's why you are not getting this thing repetitively that is 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 again you are not going ahead with the 0 0 so this is what uh, how to write a test bench in Verilog and how to check the simulation waveform. So this way you need to go ahead with the simulation waveform. So hopefully you will underst you have understood what is uh, data flow modeling style, how to write code in data flow, that too using ternary operator, what is test bench, how to write code for the test bench and how to check the simulation waveform. So hopefully you understood each and every point. So thank you. Thank you everyone. Happy learning.